Hi everyone, I'm not sure if all of you know this or not. If you've been subscribed to my channel for a while, maybe you do, or if you're new, maybe you don't know, but I really like birds. And I think a lot of people can say the same thing, but birds by far are my favorite animal out of all the animals. <laughs> birds are my favorite. No bird in particular though, I don't have a specific bird that's my favorite, that's just my favorite type of animal. Like I know some things about birds, but I wouldn't consider myself that knowledgeable about birds, and I think if they're my favorite animal, I really should learn more about them. I made a post on YouTube, because you can do that now, you can actually post text as opposed to videos, which I think is pretty cool and I'll probably use that in the future just for like question and answers and stuff like that. If I need your opinion on stuff, I'm gonna be using my community tab just to see, see how that goes. But I posted something on there just like asking what people wanted to see, what kinds of videos they wanted to see. And first of all, I just wanna address, a lot of people said stuff about tutorials and I just, like when it comes to anatomy and how, how to draw things, I don't consider myself an expert at all. So it feels kind of weird to teach things like that, but other topics like more technical things like how to use programs or like I don't know like my opinion on topics are the things I'm more comfortable talking about so I'll probably stick to those kinds of videos and I'll only do tutorials for stuff that I feel confident about or that I have I feel like I have something to share because I don't want to teach something that like I don't want to give you false information or teach you a bad habit or so on that post something I noticed though is I don't think you can reply to people like you if you if you didn't make the post I don't think you can reply to people I'm not sure I think I'm the only person who can reply but I hope they they change that in the future because I noticed on someone else's post I couldn't reply to anybody is weird but I'm sure they'll add that feature eventually I just think it's really cool on that post someone suggested something about birds of paradise which if you haven't heard of birds of paradise before please look them up oh my goodness but I, I don't know how how common knowledge they are I think they're pretty they're pretty common because there's like memes and stuff about them but birds of paradise are so cool um, they look like normal birds. Well, they're kind of fancy, the males, but then when they do their, their mating rituals, they like fluff up their feathers and do these really weird dances and it's so cool. And they all look really, really strange like and cool and they, they have these like neon colors and feathers that like stick out and it's just, they're just the most fascinating type of bird. I think most people can agree. They're really, really, really cool. I've been trying to figure out how many there are. I've looked it up and some sources say 39, but then some places say 42. Like uh, like the, the BBC documentary says there's 42 of them, but then other sources say there's only 39. So I'm not sure. If anyone knows the answer to that, please let me know. I decided I did want to draw a bird of paradise, but I want to make it into kind of like a series it's not something I'm gonna be doing every single week, but I want to maybe eventually draw all of them. All the Birds of Paradise, maybe do stickers or something to do with them. I don't know, it's gonna be like a little small ongoing thing in hopes for me to learn more about the Birds of Paradise. And maybe once I've done all the Birds of Paradise, I can do other kinds of birds, like your common everyday birds or like pets or, the, or parrots or the birds that live in my area where I live in Canada. I just want to know more about birds and I think by doing this I will learn more about the birds of paradise. And I know it's not really like, I don't know, the most practical information to know because I'm probably never going to see any of these birds in real life, but I just want to learn about them. I think it'd be really cool and I want to try drawing them because they have really really interesting color schemes, um, especially the one I'm drawing in this video which is called the king bird of paradise. It's this really bright orange and red and it has this white belly and like a little green stripe and the feathers on its head look like a hat almost when it dances it like puffs out parts of its wings and it also has these two long like feathers on its tail with little swirls at the end and I thought that was so cool a lot of them have these like long filament things and they're actually considered feathers and they kind of like stick them forward when he's dancing so I, I just think I thought this one would be cool to start with because it's a bold color. I'm not doing it in any particular order. Another cool thing I found out when I was researching these is that there's one called um, Sickle Beak or something? Sickle Bill. And I think basically what they're saying with Sickle Bill is that their their beak is, is shaped like a scythe or a sickle. I think that's so cool. They have like some of the birds of paradise and probably other birds have really long curved beaks. I just thought that was cool. So this is going to be like a slow, a slow 
project. I don't even know if I'll finish it, but I want to start drawing them. I just think it'd be really cool to just learn how to draw them. And I like to draw birds and it's relaxing. And they're going to be all digital most likely because I want to maybe do something with them if I ever end up finishing this project because who knows how how long I'll keep doing this for but I want to do them all digitally just so they're like on the computer ready to be printed if I need to for anything who knows what could happen it's just gonna be a fun little thing for me to do and I wanted to talk about a topic in this video but I just decided to make that topic birds and the drawing and what I'm doing so I hope you found this interesting and please share with me your bird knowledge because I want to become more knowledgeable in birds I don't really research them a lot like I don't actively seek out information except for when it comes to owning a bird I think I know a fair bit about that I don't have a bird but like I was researching it obsessively for like a month at one point just because I wanted to know and it was just fun to imagine caring for a bird. This video has kind of been all over the place, but I hope you enjoyed it seeing me draw the king bird of paradise. And I'm really excited to draw more. Going forward, I don't know if I'll be able to do two videos a week, but I will try, but I don't... I will do one video a week, that is my guarantee, but two? I don't know. <laughs> and most likely videos will be Saturdays, Fridays or Saturdays once a week. If, if anything happens, I can always let you know with the community tab now, haha. <laughs> I also wanted to use this series as a way to kind of improve my digital art skills. I don't know what kind of style I want to go for, so, and I don't know if I want them all to match necessarily, I have no idea. Just, just like a thought, just a thought for now, but thank you to whoever suggested me to draw them. I think it's going to be so much fun to learn about them and draw them. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one.